Good afternoon, brother Dawn. Good afternoon. How's it going? I'm cool. Good. Dwayne there. Dwayne's here on standby. Your guest is on the line as well. Yes. Good afternoon, Bermuda. How are you doing? Um, today, our special guest, well, we're going to have two shows today. Well, the show is going to be split in half today. The first half, we have two persons from the 50th anniversary for Bahamas Independence on today. How are you all doing? We are doing great. Uh, you all can uh, uh, introduce I yourselves. You and Mr. Robinson are doing well. Yes, yes, we're good. Yes, thank you. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. Um, and may you introduce yourself, sir? Sure. My name is Marvin Hanna. Um, I am one of the planning members for the Bahamas' 50th Independence Anniversary Celebration. And I am joined by Ms. Siobhan Hollis. Ms. Hollis, are you there? Uh, just waiting for the second guest to call through. Okay, no okay. problem. I'll happily hold the fourth in her stead. All right, I didn't get capable of that. So, uh, Mr. Hanna, tell us about uh, Bahamas is going to 50 years anniversary um, independence this year. Yes, uh, on July 10th, we will be celebrating our 50th anniversary of independence, uh, first gained by the Progressive Liberal Party of the Bahamas in 1973. Uh, okay. Way before I was Progressive born. Progressive Liberal Party, that's what? PLP, right? Yes, PLP. <laughs> I, I'm sure you guys are familiar with the PLP he, down here as well, aren't you? He gets excited, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so tell, tell us what, what, what it means to, for Bahamians, what it means for to 50 years of, of independence. Well, it, it means the world to us, you know. Uh, as a small island state, you know, it's, it's difficult for a lot of us to, to find their identity, and we as Bahamians are immensely proud that, that we have taken our steps towards independence. And I tell you, every year on July 10th, the entire country of the Bahamas shuts down, and when I tell you we celebrate, we celebrate. So it means the world to us. When you say shut down, because illustrate that for us a bit I, I guess the best the best example that I could give is um, the the way the Bermuda Island is during those two days of the cup match holiday burp, burp. Burp, burp. Yeah. go Somerset oh, okay oh yeah hey, hey. yes sir uh, I, I didn't see I knew we had a scholar on the line yes sir thank you for that the one you could the one you could disconnect the line now <laughs> yeah correct <laughs> Yes, yeah, so um, the committee has planned a, a series of events spanning uh, the course of three days, commencing on the 30th of July with a cocktail and education reception. Um, and that's followed by a, when I say a, a gala, I, I mean a gala to end all galas. Uh, that's held uh, July 1st at the Rosewood. And we're very excited as a committee because we're going to use this gala as an opportunity to honor a number of Bahamians living in Bermuda that we like to call them stalwart country representatives. Um, and I'm sure both Mr. Robinson and yourself, Mr. Famous, will be well aware with uh, most of them, although I'm not sure the same can be said for the majority of Bermuda. Um so, firstly, our first honoree is Dr. George Maxey. Uh, Mr. Famous, mm -hmm. I'm sure you're familiar with Dr. Maxey. Um, he's been on so the that's the guy for, who's a certain age, but he looks 30 years younger than a certain age? I, I must say, do Dr. Maxey, if my recollection serves me correct, is in his 80s or 90s. And when I tell you that... Me, as a 36-year-old, I find it difficult to keep up with him. Uh, I, I say that with, with no jest. He is in tremendous shape, and he's been a tremendous patriot for Bahamians in Bermuda. And as most of you are aware, he's been a medical practitioner on the island for a number of decades. So that's our first uh, honoree. 
Our second honoree is Miss Wilhelmina Smith, affectionately called Aunt Bucky. Uh, and Aunt Bucky is a very special character because she served as the culinary lifeline for most of the Bahamians on island. And when I tell you, as Aunt Bucky calls and says, I'm making a pot of food, you drop what you're doing, you jump in your vehicle, you jump on a bus, and you head down to where Aunt Bucky stayed. So she served as a... So where does Aunt Bucky stay? Um, I'm keeping that information confidential at, at this moment. Uh, I, I may send you some information offline, or rather invite uh, you okay, and Mr. Right. Robinson the next time I'm making my way down to her house. So, yeah, and Bucky has been a a fixture on the island for a a number of years now, and she serves a very important function in that she she gives you a little taste of nostalgia. You know, when you're homesick or whatnot, and you you miss your grandmother or your mother's cooking, she is the person that you go to. So that is our second honoree. And our third honoree is uh, Miss Lenora Carey. And similarly to Aunt mm-hmm. Bucky, Lenora has been a, a, a stalwart in the community for a number of years and a, a great patriot for the cause of uh, the Bahamas and Bermuda. Um, so those are our three honorees that we will be presenting awards, just small tokens of our appreciation to reward them for all of the hard work that they've been doing within the community over these last number of years. Okay. And so did... Uh this is just one is one night, one event? So the gala is one night, and that's being held the 1st of July at the Rosewood. Um, that's on the Saturday. Now, the Friday before that, we are hosting a cocktail reception just for the honorees and some of the Bahamians on island. And as good Bahamians do, we are ending the weekend of celebrations with a church service on the 2nd of July, uh, where we'll be worshiping at the Church of the Most Holy Trinity located in Hamilton, Paris. So it's a three-day event, and we are really, really looking forward to it. Um, I don't know if I should say this, but we are hoping, and this is hoping with all caps, we are hoping to have some form of entertainment, possibly by way of Junkanoo, performing at one, if not more, of those events. Um, but uh, when I say hoping, uh, emphasis on hoping is still up in the works. So we are very excited to have these uh, three events over the course of that free independence weekend. Um, we wanted to do the celebrations on the 10th of July when the country actually celebrates its Independence Day. But due to some conflict uh, with some persons that we're hoping to get on the island, we thought it would be best to celebrate the, the weekend before. Okay. All right. Well, that's, I mean, yeah, because I'm quite sure you, you're not going to be waiting another 50 years to celebrate your 100th anniversary. So you better <laughs> you better um, celebrate earlier, have a early warm here, and then go down the road. Exactly. Exactly. So, so yeah, we're... we're what, where are your tickets available? Uh, our tickets are available through a, a number of committee members, and I believe this weekend we are we should have them available on PTEX. But if there's anybody interested in getting any tickets, they are more than welcome to reach out to any of the committee members. Um, famous, I can provide my details, um, and they can feel free to reach out to myself or any of my co-chairs on, on the committee okay okay so re, so you can have three you're having three uh t- so t- all right help me out here help me out here what's going to be on the menu at this gala oh you are asking some very very good questions brother famous um well as you i'm sure you you're aware we behemoths love uh agrees as the Bermudians say so we do intend to pull on a full spread of seafood and some local Bahamian delicacies or whatnot so I don't want to give too much away but if you've ever been to Arawaki in Nassau Bahamas um, you've gotten a you mean for... hey 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 you hit the nail on the head not my favorite place but my second favorite place if you've ever been to Arawaki you are 
quite familiar with some of the treats that we are hoping to hoping to serve to the people that attend the gala. Yeah, because it, it will be a it will be a tragedy if you're having a 50th gala, 50th anniversary gala. You, you go to a hotel and it's not Bahamian food. Oh yeah, no, no. Well, we we definitely won't um, have a Bahamian celebration without some of our Bahamian delicacies on offer. Um, and if Aunt Bucky wasn't going to be one of the persons being honored, I I was actually going to twist her arm to see if she would sit in the kitchen for a little while and give us a taste. But the chefs at the Rosewood are, as they always do, we're going to do a phenomenal job of putting on a, a heck of a spread for all the persons that are in uh, attendance. And so we are really, really looking forward to that. Okay. Well, we'll get on. Uh, I'm going to let you go now so Miss Hollis can call in and she can wrap it up then. Okay, um, thank you very much, Mr. Famous, Mr. Robinson, for having me. I look forward to seeing you both um, on our series of events, July, June 30th, July 1st, July 2nd. Thank Again, you so much. Tell, tell, on, tell on Bucky if you say hello. I most certainly will. And next time I get an invitation, <laughs> I'll extend one to both of you as well. I appreciate oh, that. You don't have to extend it. You could just drop you, I, all you do. Right, if you don't want to reveal where um, Bucky lives, so all you do just pick up the journey bread and his boiled fish and then holler at us. I most certainly will. Um, t- t- take right. care. Be safe. All right, cool. All right, cheers. All right, so we're going to share one Hollis to call Leon now, and she'll be uh, wrapping it up as far as what we're doing. How you doing, Dwayne? Hey, I'm doing good. I say, I hear you're laboring over there. Yeah, sound um, little, you got like you got a little bit on the duella. Yeah, I woke up this morning like I had the flu, so I'm just uh I do some myself <laughs> with some day cream on hey. and some um and some other stuff. Okay, your guest is on the line. All right. Good afternoon, Miss Hollis. How are you? I am good. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You can hear me clear, right? <laughs> good afternoon. Yeah, we can hear you clear. Okay, no problem. Um, so greetings, um, everyone. Greetings, my fellow Bahamians and the entire community of Bermuda. Thank you, Mr. Famous, again, for having our presence on your platform, Motion to Adjourn. Um, I guess Marvin Hanner uh, would be on already. Um, mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, no problem. So Marvin Hanna would have introduced himself. He is one of our committee members in Bermuda for this um events. So before I get Mm -hmm. started with the calendar of events, I would like to acknowledge our committee team, which is Charmaine Tucker. She's the president of the Bahamian Association in Bermuda, Vice President Simone Smith-Bean, Secretary Kay Trott, committee members Willie Ferguson and Michelle Cartwright, and our assistant Angie Ferguson and Tanya Redmond. So I am inspired by it an interesting quote by Winston Churchill. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. So as the independent committee chair today, I am excited to say we can breathe a little sigh of relief after months of planning and having to create, edit, re-edit, and revise our schedule of events in Bermuda. I am also delighted to share our incredible calendar of events to commemorate our 50th anniversary of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. I really would like to encourage every Bahamian and the entire Bermuda community to come out and celebrate with us as we showcase who we are as a people and nation. So the 50th Independent Committee celebration includes Friday, June 30th, an art and cultural cocktail evening, which entails a cultural exhibition this event will be by invitation only and will be held at Camden, featuring a collaboration of Bermuda and Bahamian historical cultural presentation and speeches, and will conclude with performance by Bermuda Gumbays and our very own Small Junkano Group. On Saturday, July 1st, we will have our 50th Bahamas Pre-Independence Golden Jubilee Gala, 
at the Camden Rosewood Bermuda. We will be honoring the invaluable contribution of three distinguished Bahamians that have made a significant contribution to Bermuda. These individuals have been strong cultural ambassadors for serving and strengthening both Bermudian and Bahamian culture, ensuring that a positive experience and acclimatization may continue between cultures, both cultures. Our keynote speaker for that evening will be our Honorable Fred Mitchell, our Minister of Foreign Affairs from the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. And on Sunday, we will wrap up, Sunday, July 1st, we will wrap up with a special church service to be held at the Cathedral of the Most Holy Trinity Church in Hamilton. So we again, we welcome all local residents, Bahamians um, alike, to come out and support our event. We really appreciate it. Now, for tickets, we do have tickets available for purchase for our gala. So feel free to contact any of our committee members, or you can contact me directly at 703-0789, or you can email us at Bahamian, lowercase, Bahamian Association, Bermuda at gmail.com. Okay. Any any question? Uh, no. Uh, how's our Bacchus food? <laughs> <laughs> um, very well. She'll she'll be here. I think two weeks before. <laughs> oh, okay. So definitely, we will hey, try for one of the persons who are. Can you just re before we close off? Can you just repeat the persons who are going to be on it? Um, sure. So the three individuals that we will be honoring would be. Dr. George Birch Maxey, he's been in Bermuda forever. <laughs> and um, Ms. Wilhelmina Smith, we call her Bucky. She is the mother of Charmaine Tucker, the mother in law of Sean Tucker, and also Mistress Leonora Carey. She is the spouse or the wife of Albert Carey. So we have three very distinguished Bahamians who have contributed to Bermuda, in which we want to. Like we say, give them their flowers while they're alive. Okay. All right, anyone okay. you want to shout out to before we close up? Um, I would say to my committee members, hang in there. Um, I would like to say all of our Bermudian friends, our relatives, um, just come out and celebrate with us as we are about to commemorate our upcoming 50th anniversary. And thank you again for having us on your platform and to share our exciting calendar of events. All right, no problem. Thank you. Thank You're you. Welcome. Have a great All day, right. everybody. <laughs> you as well. All right. Thank you. All right, so um, about to close up this show, the sec second half. You want to tell the people what's the second half <clears throat> of the show, uh, Demand? So we have Miss Juan A. Crockle, the executive director of the Women's Resource Center. So she should be calling in in a few minutes, actually. So I think we'll uh, okay. go to our break. And when we come back, you know, we can kick well, back before, in. Before we go to your break, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang up. Um, next week, we're gonna, for those who, not not you, Duane, you don't know enough about this. <laughs> um, Dawn, brother, Dawn will know. Next week, we are going to be honored to have on our show Mr. Lloyd James. You know who that is, Dawn? Yeah, my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's people that's can. Not, not that one. It's a different one. Okay. Lloyd, Lloyd, Lloyd James, a.k.a. King James, is going to be our guest on our show. Yes, I do know him. Yes. So for those, for those who don't know, there's a, there's most of the, much of the reggae of the late 80s and 90s was produced by Mr. Lloyd James, a.k.a. King Jamis, and he will be coming to Bermuda next week, and he will be our guest on the show next week, Thursday. So thank you, gentlemen. Much appreciated. Sure. Yes, sir. Get some rest, man. All right, bro. Take care. Take care. All right.